In this video, I'm going to show how I modified a connector to allow me to run a lithium polymer battery. This is a 5,500 milliamp battery, two cell. I can use this to run the camera for hours and hours and hours. Versus on a cold day, something like a standard Canon lithium ion battery, a 1,100 milliamp. Um, it'll actually run out in the cold weather because it's in the camera and there's really no insulation, so the cold temperatures will affect it. Uh, with this battery, it's possible to chain them together and get a uh, near unlimited run time. This cord here would power your camera from the wall. I've added a Dean's connector, which is typically found in the RC model aviation industry for their battery packs. So this cord can plug into here, or I can actually plug it in to the battery pack directly, which is a two cell lithium polymer battery. Before I made my external battery pack, I checked the voltage of the standard BP511 battery. The battery lists its voltage as 7.4 volts, and it's a lithium ion battery. But when you test it on a test meter, you'll find that it actually comes out to 8 volts, or in this case, 8.04 volts. So that gave me a benchmark that a 2S lithium polymer battery would be perfect. This is a power meter called the Watts Up that lets you know how much energy is being used by the device plugged into this end and it'll actually give you real-time statistics about the battery how many watts are being used and also the amperage and voltage so you start by connecting it to the battery and then it boots up and it tells me the battery is running at 8.18 volts and so far I've used 0, 0.0 watts Next. I can plug in the battery module. This is the called the DR400, and it's basically a, an external battery pack that's made to replace a BP511 battery. So I plug this module into the output of the power meter, and it's ready to go. So you set up your camera. I've got an extra battery grip that has a compartment to, for two batteries. And here I'm just going to use the left slot, plug the battery in, turn the camera on. It shows me the camera uses about four, 4 watts when it's taking a picture, and in standby, once it's finished saving the pictures, it'll drop down to about half a watt. And that's the uh, basic setup to have an external battery. And the nice thing is, if you're doing a time lapse, when you plug in your intervalometer, here I've got a TC80N3 intervalometer. If I set the intervalometer up, here I'll set it to one second, hit start, and it's taking pictures continuously. As it's working, I can monitor what the voltage is and the wattage, and this would help me if I wanted to know I could calculate how many photos I could get on the battery and how much current I've consumed.